Hello everybody, today we're going to solve for the AC circuit which is including a lot of elements we gotta solve so we need in this problem we need to find the Z total uh, I, uh, I in the current IR which is the current in the resistor and the IC and the IL which is capacitor uh, coil and we also need to find the I total and the power total and of course the appearance of the circuit so here so this is the how to find the current and the capacitor for the first element which is you going to do the power 120 volts with the 30 degrees divided by 15 ohms resistor and the capacitor uh, divided by so how you, that's how you do it, 120 divided by 15. It has the 15 ohms on the capacitor. It has negative 90 degree. And, and you fill up, when you fill up it up, it's going to be positive. And you add it up with the power of the, of the source. And you put the, <clears throat> the different on the output. And I have here the resistor and the coil. So each one has different calculation for the degree so we need to find all these element all right first thing we're going to start you can use a calculator to make it quickly i'm always using the calculator so so we have 120 divided by 15 we have 120 divided by 15 which is going to be eight it's going to be eight amps You have to put the degree so this one when you flip it up is going to be positive positive 90 so we do 30 plus 90 is going to be 120 120 degree you put it like this that's the answer so of course a resistor we uh, a resistor doesn't has uh, any uh, any degree so only in the power so that's why you're going to put 120 divided by 120 divided by 15 and that's of course 8 8 amps and you put the degree for this amps for the current so we only have 1 degree so we're going to put 30 and of course for the coil it has 120 divided by 8 we're gonna put 120 divided by 8 and we have 15 it is going to be 15 amps what's the degree so we're gonna flip it up it's gonna make it become negative so we do 30 negative 90 so what you're gonna do negative 90 to make it a lot easier to be negative 60 negative 60 we got all the source right here so we, of course we found the ic right here ic you gonna cross it we find the ir ir cross it we find the il of course ir right here so these ones so we need to find this one right now we need to find the z total so now before you find the Z total, we need to find the I total. So right here, I'm going to write it down. I total equal, we do, which is the highest, of course. Of course, this one, it has more, it has more amps. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, uh, what is the capacitor of this one? We're going to do 8, sorry, uh, 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 15 minus 8, which is the highest one you're going to pick. So, as I told you, I'm going to specify this. So, this is the capacitor. And this is the coil. So, the capacitor is down there. So, this is the coil. So the coil right here, so the tab 
minus the bottom so right here I'm sorry I can't even move it so you see the graph so the, the coil minus the capacitor so we get the coil minus 8 so 15 minus 8 of course it's gonna be 7 so for the I total it's going to be square like this you square it you put the 8 the resistor so these one and this one is, is gonna be 7 but we're gonna put 8 and you close the parentheses you put square plus open parentheses you put the 7 square it and then you got what you got in here so you do So you with square root 8, close the parentheses, square plus open parentheses, put 7, close parentheses, put square, what they give you? They give you 10.6, 10.6, so 3, you don't have to put 3, you're going to put 10, what I'm going to put right here, uh, 10, 6 10.6 to the power we need to find the the power here so to find the power now that you do a tangent negative one parentheses you always put the resistor this is the resistor right here see the IR the resistor always on the bottom so the, the denominator so we're gonna put eight and the top one going of course we're gonna put seven so we do here uh, shift tangent going to put 7 divided by 8 close parentheses going to be 41.2 you're going to put 41.2 right here 41.2 degree so this is this is the i total this is the i total so I'm going to change the the pencil is not going to be confused. Let me see this one holds up. I think this is the same thing. I think right here they have the pin. Okay, so now we found the Z total. So we found the Z total, I total, C total, L total, and the I total. But the, yeah, the I total. So we need to find the power right now. In order to find the power, let me write the equation for you. The equation right here. A lot easier. So the power total equal, you do the E total, which is the voltage, and the power times the current total times cosine. And of course theta that's gonna be just this one how much of the power we have here which is 120 we're gonna put one we're gonna put 120 cross parentheses open parentheses you put so we do this one how much the i the i totals right here 10 so of course you're going to put 10.6 cross parentheses uh, cosine the theta is going to be for the, this one they're going to be 41.2 41.2 so what you got let's see what happened so we put 120 times you put 120 times 10.6 times cosine 41.2 that's how you put it so what you get 9 9 
0.57.1 more point seven you can put no problem so we need you're gonna put power total equals nine five seven point zero seven watts so the unit of the power is always watts So we're gonna put like this and we're gonna cross it right here and of course we need to find this one this guy which is the Q the charging equals we're going to put E times times IS IS of course same thing I total times sign there do you guys notice what's the difference between the power and this one so it's the different sign and you want to put uh, of course here 120 times 10.6 for the amps uh, of course sign and theta 41.2 so instead here, the tab one, you're gonna enter it and change the cosine. That's it. It's gonna be 837.9. So the Q, 837.9. It's going to be, of course, the voltage and revolution. I'm going to start the power factor. So, we, of course, we're going to find the power factor now. We're going to be po, um, PF. PF equal, you're going to do, you're going to do cosine theta. Cosine theta. We're going to put cosine. How much the theta is going to be? Ten, the tension is going to be 40, 41.2. Let's put here cosine. Cosine 0.1.2 is going to be 0.75. It's going to be 0.75. That is the power factor. We got them all. And thank you very much. What are you watching?